Dilma Rousseff's days as president of Brazil could be numbered. The largest political party in Brazil, the PMDB, has just announced that it is pulling out of the ruling, ruling coalition, and that means that'll put Rousseff's government into serious, serious jeopardy. The move leaves the president more isolated than ever before, as her party faces a major corruption probe and also a worsening economic crisis. CNN's Shasta Darlington is live in Rio de Janeiro with the latest on this deepening political drama. And Shasta, the big question I suppose everybody has now now is, is this the end of the road for Rousseff and her previous boss, Lula? Well, Nina, frankly, it's increasingly looking like that. Uh, most analysts are putting the chances of her falling at, at, at least 90 percent. Uh, and really, it took the PMDB all of three minutes in their meeting to decide to jump ship after nearly 13 years in the party. That means that they're ordering all six of the, their ministers to step down and some 600 government employees really pushing Rousseff to the brink, as you said. And, and she's a highly unpopular president. She's presided over this worst recession in decades. As you mentioned, her party and her coalition are engulfed in this corruption scandal. It, but I should say she hasn't been implicated. What she is facing now is impeachment proceedings in Congress based on allegations that she tried to hide a budget shortfall ahead of elections in 2014 so she could get reelected. And, and this, it really looks like now both uh, the lower house is going to muster the two-thirds votes it needs uh, to get that started. We could see her oust it as early as May while she prepares her defense. Now, the big irony here is the one member of the PMDB who is not being ordered to step down is the vice president, Michel Temer. And you can guess why, because he'll be the person to step up to the plate when those impeachment proceedings go through. Uh, and another little detail here, Nina, while Rousseff has not been implicated in this corruption scandal, many of those sitting on the corruption committee have been. That's an interesting dynamic, isn't it, uh, Shasta? But in the meantime, what do we know about these corruption allegations? Are they growing by the day? It all seems to link back to this so-called lava jato or car wash scheme that was taking place surrounding Petrobras, the big state oil company. Have there been more revelations leaking out about the scale of that corruption, alleged corruption? Well. Of course. Well, right now, Nina, um, what's been we've really been caught up in the whole political aspect of this. And you'll remember this started a few weeks ago uh, when police raided the home of former President Lula. They took him in for questioning. And shortly afterwards, Rousseff uh, appointed him her chief of staff. And then this legal wrangling started. A lot of critics saw that as an attempt on her part to shield him from the investigation. Uh, so that's been now held up. He, he, the, the Supreme federal tribunal is reconvening today. They're going to decide whether or not he can even assume that position. Uh, who's going to be investigating him if it comes to that, whether it'll be that lower court judge who's in charge of the car wash investigations, whether it'll be the Supreme Court. Uh, we could actually hear decisions on that as early as today, though it could take a little bit longer. So instead of moving forward in that investigation, we've really seen it ca getting caught up in this whole political crisis, Nina.